On a Cisco ASA, I'm going to show you now how to enable the ASA to send syslog messages out to the rest of the world. So first thing we're going to want to do is to type show logging and make sure logging is enabled. And in this case it is not, so we're going to type logging enable. Do a show logging again and we are now enabled. So now what we want to do is we want to pick the host for our sending syslog messages. So we'll type in logging host and then we need to, to tell the ASA if this is on the inside network or on the outside network. So we're going to tell it to use a host on the outside. Now make sure that the firewall on the outside network has inbound connection access to syslog messages or it'll just send it to nowhere. So now we'll have logging host outside so all our messages are going to go to another location and we're just going to make up an IP address here and now we are set to uh, security level of zero on VLAN one but that's okay because all our messages are going outbound so logging host outside now we need to set our severity so if we do a logging trap question mark it tells us the severity we can send of our messages now uh, if you do the uh, logging trap and we choose zero then it's just going to tell the syslog server if the system has become unusable if the firewall is unusable it'll send that message out if it's capable of doing it if we choose uh, alerts then it'll send both the alerts and the emergencies one thing to keep in mind is no matter what you choose the higher the number, the more messages you're going to get because it's going to send that that uh, message, say seven for instance, on debugging, along with messages on six five four three two one and zero. So that will give you the most amount of information about your firewall, especially if you're having any kinds of issues. Typically, we like to set ours to a level three. That'll tell you if anyone is trying to hack into you. It'll tell you if you're having any kinds of hardware issues or software issues uh, or any other serious issues. So set that to three. There are other logging settings you can set for this. Typically uh, we don't. They're the only three that, that we do. But we can also set things such as specifying a queue size to go to the syslog messages uh, so we don't overwhelm everyone. Uh, we can also uh, set a, a timestamp and that can be useful especially if you're uh, looking at a bank or some other financial records where you need that kind of level of logging and there are other messages here just do a logging trap question mark as just as I did to show the rest of how to do that and that's how you set up syslogging on an ASA